family had a uh, house in Vermont on a lake and we used to fish for chain pickerel and, and perch and stuff there and kind of just uh, you know turn into something that we did as you know uh, brothers and with my father and kind of became our passion really all of us and our all the men in our family and we, we enjoy going fishing it's something that we bond over and uh, you know, it's just uh, it's kind of just grew from there. Fly fishing and baseball both have you know, strong past and strong history and obviously the guy right in the middle of that's Ted Williams and uh, playing here at that Fenway where he played and then uh, you know, fishing some of the rivers that he's fishing in the Northeast and then he to, you know, not only have an option to see his stuff in Cooperstown Baseball Hall of Fame, but also seeing some of the things that he's got, uh, you know, in, in fly fishing in Hall of Fame is, is pretty cool and there's that connection there. And, you know, I've been up to Manchester and been to the museum quite a bit and, been that old just quite a bit there right across the street too so um, it's just you know the history is, is something that makes it special um, it's also something that we want to you know, keep and preserve um, there's just a lot of things about about the sport of fly fishing that I'm passionate about first and foremost you have to have some patience early on when you're just starting out but then uh, when you start to get the hang of it it gets pretty fun it gets pretty exciting and kind of you know, with the way society is now and everybody you know, wants that instant gratification and that instant action, that, that happens with the fly fishing. You just gotta kind of work out a little bit. It's not something that comes easy, but when you get it down, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun, especially when you start going for, you know, big migratory fish like steelhead and salmon and those, those types of things. Mean, that's, uh, you know, that's like, it's, it's a lot of action, a lot of excitement. A couple of years ago when I was playing in Detroit, we actually had to come here and uh, we didn't have an off day, but I really wanted to go striper fishing. And uh, I remember sneaking down into the basement of the hotel where they actually had their parking garage. My younger brother met me there. And we drove out at like 5 o'clock in the morning. And we met uh, the guy over by the mouth of the Merrimack River to fish the job of flats and stuff. And um, you know, we caught a bunch of stripers, came back. You know, I try and sneak around a little bit. And, you know, if we have an off day where uh, we don't have a team function or a charity event, you know, I definitely am going fishing and going somewhere if we're in Boston, hopefully, you know, somewhere in the northeast around here. Western Mass, there's a lot of great rivers over there. You know, from the road, hopefully, in an area where they have some, some fish that you can uh, take to fly. Over the years, I've you know had some teammates that, that are pretty good fly fishermen and some that say they know how to fly fish in the big out there and it's uh you know it's like fly fishing with a three-year-old <laughs> it's always fun i mean regardless of your skill level i love it just i love seeing other people catch fish too and being out there and it's the whole experience it's not about how good you are it's, it's about enjoying the moment and, uh, you know, so it's definitely fun I'm trying to get everybody out there as much as possible yeah to me i mean the conservation side of it is, is everything it's, it's not only the present, but it's the future. And, um, you know, for somebody who's passionate about fly fishing and passionate about the different species that, that you catch you know, with a fly rod, um, that should make it all the more important for you to, to protect that species. And, um, you know, everybody that I fly fish with, we can practice catching with me, so we don't take any fish and, and uh, really enjoy it for the experience. And that, that's what it comes down to. I think uh, anybody can come in there rip out four or five fish and uh, get out of there and clean them and eat them. And, and I understand that part of it, but uh, at the same time, you, know, you want you know, your kids and their kids and generations going forward to, to be able to enjoy you know, this sport and uh, to practice that conservation and, and to understand uh, how important it is for the species and for the future. It's something that I don't think we can be taken lightly and uh, you know, we, need to, we need to act fast. I mean, it's not something that we can just kind of wait around with. To understand what we have to do to, to protect the habitat, to protect the species, and do our job.